All right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. Real traders never trade alone. They trade with their fellow nerds like Ben, like Bull, like Chain, like Daniel, like DB, like Darmesh, like Dwayne, like Hal, like Jason, like Jim, like Joel, like John, like Kevin, like Lee, like Matt, Jolly Wally, like Mo, like PSG, like Sean, like Stephen, like Stephen, like Vicky with an I and Vicky with a Y. Hey, everybody. Good to see you. And look at this. Wow, the market went down a little bit, didn't it? And then it's been recovering. I wonder what happened. Uh, I think if you watched the debate last night, Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala, however you say it, I think she clearly won the debate. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with the market being down or not, but the market is down uh, and is now coming back. Look at the AD has been coming back up. And now it's going back down. So interesting. We're back into the uh, opening 15-minute range of the day, but we're still down 0.57%. So VIX is at the 19 handle. AD is very weak, y'all. I mean, I would have thought we'd be back down here with AD as weak as it is, negative 358. Let's see if we can gleam anything from the big green monster big green monster does have support down at the 5402 and looks like this area above the 5402 is a little bit of support here and now we're going back up to the value area low so we are still oversold we anticipate we'll find our way back into the fair value zone above Let's look at the big, uh, not the big green monster, but the linear regression. Linear regression still is in a downward little bit of pressure here uh, before we find some area of consolidation, before I believe it will resume its rise up in the overall trend that is an uptrend. So that is interesting there. So let's see how our little account is doing today. And let's see over here. I think we're up just a little bit today. We're just treading water. Oh, happy birthday to uh, JoJo today. JoJo is 10 years old today. How about that? So we're at 75,959.94. Fire up the band, Rico. We're up $10.94. Amen. And as we do remember all of those that lost their lives on this fateful day 23 years ago. Isn't that crazy? Hard to believe. 23 years ago. Let's see. We've got our password here. How embarrassing. Okay, so we're at 2 and negative 28. 2 and negative 28. Negative 28. And VIX, we said, was in the 19 handle. And let's look at our buying power usage. So our buying power usage is at, oh, come on, account requirement. We were at 27.56. Now we're at 24.93. Let's put that in our pop and smoke it. All right, so we're using 3.28% of our buying power. That looks good. And let's see how our hedge is doing today. First of all, let's see if our GTC orders are doing, how our GTCs are doing. So even though the market's down, look at this, y'all. We're getting really close uh, to taking those off. So we're at 35 cents, and we will harvest those at 20 cents. So even the down move today has not even had an effect on our GTC order. So that's really good. So let's see how our little hedge is doing today. And our hedge is, let's see, risk analysis. And let's do this. So we still got a little bit of a hedge, right? 23,692 to the downside, which is not bad at all. But here's what I really am looking forward to. When we get rid of these 12, then our hedge goes up to 53,000. Now, I'm still thinking about things that we could do 
uh, with our extra capital now that we've got hedges on. And let me see Google Drive here. Do y'all remember that we did AIM at some point? But let's see. I've also had a BAME. Let's see what our BAME thing is. Our BAME. We got a BAME bot. And this is Bobby Automatic Investment Management. And I've been thinking about doing it. Let's see if we can open this file. But we actually had a spreadsheet that had a, I think we had about 10 different underlines that we were in. And then we would go into it like once a week, or you could go into it once a month and do the big green monster on all of these different things. I think we did TQQQ, UPRO, uh, several other different things. But it's it's just it's something I'm thinking about. Or we may actually do the AIM thing as well. Let's see, AIM. Yeah, let's see. TTQQ AIM Empire. Y'all remember that? Just taking a while to open the BAME spreadsheet, but let's see if we can get back to that. Oh, man. Come here, little fella. Anyway, I don't have to show it to you today, I guess. Here it is. Data refreshed. Whereas we, um, let's see if I've got anything hidden in here. Spy activity, spy dashboard, spy netlick, aim dashboard, aim netlick. Uh, basically, this thing would tell you when to buy shares. Like here's where we did it on NVIDIA. And uh, based on the price of NVIDIA, it's telling us to buy 269 shares, which is kind of cool, right? AMD, it's not telling us to do anything, but it's really kind of cool that it gives you a, um, you know, information. So what we could do is come up with a few stocks that we like, and we could say, hey, we like these stocks, and then put it into the AIM, which is the, oh, man. I don't know why it didn't do that. So that's just one of the things that we're looking at is AIM. Yeah, Matt, y'all, you remember uh, we did really good with BAME as well. So we'll uh, try to pick up this uh, uh, spreadsheet and see if we can't do something with it. All right, that's our show for today. Hope everybody has a great day, and we will see everybody tomorrow. Bye, y'all.